So let's look at how do we convert polar coordinates into rectangular coordinates. Um, when you're given a polar coordinate, it will consist of, as we've seen before, R, which is pretty much your hypotenuse in a right triangle, and your angle, which is the here, the 30 degrees. Uh, the other one would be an R of negative 2 and an angle of 120 degrees. Now, to be like, you know, uh, perfect as far as, as the way we list our answers, some ways of doing this involve using square root of 3's over 2, square root of 2 over 2, things like that. But for what we do in 126, we make things decimals. So I will be converting these into decimals rounded to the hundredths place, okay? So for the first one, for 4, 30 degrees, R is 4, and our angle theta is 30. We use our two little setups here for X and Y. So X is R times the cosine of theta, and Y is R times the sine of theta. So I am just substituting this right into my calculator and just hitting equals. So depending upon how your calculator works, you know, you've got to be able to take 4 cosine 30. And everyone's calculator is different. So what I get is x is 3.46. So make sure you get that. Now y is 4 times the sine of 30, which is 2. So my rectangular coordinate, and rectangular coordinates are just your x and y's. You've been plotting them since you probably were, you know, in, in middle school and maybe younger, okay? x and y. All right, so when we go into working these further, you know, when we start having to add coordinates, uh, you're only going to be adding rectangular coordinates. So just keep in mind when, when you do that, remember back to this. So let's look at now the other set where R is negative 2 and theta is 120 degrees. I'm going to do the same thing. X is negative 2. Cosine, whoops, 120. So I do negative 2 times the cosine of 120. And I get x is 1. y is negative 2 sine 120. And that's negative 1.73. So my rectangular coordinates here are 1, negative 1 1.73. So that's how you convert from polar to uh, rectangular coordinates. Try not to overcomplicate things. Uh, use your formulas. If you're not sure how to punch things into your calculator, try different techniques and you'll figure it out. If not, you know, you can always uh, send me an email.